Who is the weekend currently involved with? How many ex-girlfriends does he have? And is he presently involved with anyone? The weekend is now believed to be single, despite the rumors of his dating Angelina Jolie that have been circulating. But he has been involved in two extremely prominent romances since he shot to prominence. However, the singer of the hit song Blinding Lights has previously been connected to supermodel Bella Hadid and singer and actress Selena Gomez, as well as many other women in the past. Just in case you missed it, here's a complete rundown of The Weeknd's dating history, which includes everything from his ex-girlfriends to reported affairs. Before we begin though, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. Angelina Jolie, previously known as Jolie Pitt, was born on June 4, 1975. She's a Hollywood actress and director. She's won several awards, including an Academy Award and three Golden Globes, and has been voted Hollywood's highest paid actress several times. Jolie made her film debut as a youngster in Lookin' to Get Out, 1982, co-starring with her father, John Voight, and her film career started in earnest a decade later with the low-budget effort Cyborg 2, 1993, followed by her first main part in a big picture, Hackers, 1995. She appeared in the highly acclaimed biographical television films George Wallace, 1997, and Gia, 1998, and she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her work in the 1999 drama Girl Interrupted. Her portrayal of video game heroine Lara Croft in Lara Croft Tomb Raider 2001 established her as a renowned Hollywood actor. Several purported dates between The Weeknd and Angelina Jolie have led to speculation of a possible romance between the two. Following their appearance at a romantic dinner together in Los Angeles in July 2021, The Weeknd and Angelina Jolie reignited relationship rumors. After leaving Giorgio Baldi in Santa Monica, the two were photographed leaving together just a few minutes apart. They were photographed together again at a concert in Los Angeles a few weeks later on another secret date. Back in 2016, when the two were still married, The Weeknd's ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez happened to run across Angelina's ex-husband Brad again. Angelina and Selena were both mentioned in The Weeknd's popular song Party Monster which was released the following year and became a worldwide success. Angelina, lips like Angelina, like Selena, shaped like Selena. He sang as the words appeared on the screen. He then made a reference to Pitt in his 2016 hit ballad, Starboy, saying, let a Brad Pitt, legend of the fall, took the year like a bandit. Pitt was the inspiration for the song. According to a source who spoke to the son, Angelina Jolie brought her son, Pax, 17, to meet the weekend on a recent family trip to New York, prior to their alleged date night. In September 2021, the rumored pair returned to Giorgio Baldi, but this time they departed the restaurant together, with Angelina driving away in the weekend's SUV vehicle. A topic about the weekend came up during her film's press tour and the Eternals actress did an excellent job of deflecting it. She was asked if her children are more enthusiastic about her new movie or the fact that she is pals with the pop artist. They are extremely enthusiastic about this film, if that is what you are asking, she said. While they never address the claims, Abel just served to feed the speculation when he released his album, Dawn FM which features the line, My new lady, she's a movie star, in the song, Here We Go Again. However, considering the fact that The Weeknd is associated with the most prestigious of entertainment circles, he may be referring to any actress in particular. From 2015 through 2019, The Weeknd and Bella Hadid were in a relationship on and off. The Weeknd was notably linked to supermodel Bella Hadid from 2015 to 2019 during which time they had an on-and-off romance, breaking up and reuniting on many occasions. The Weeknd approached Hadid about appearing on the artwork for his album Beauty Behind the Madness, and the two began dating shortly after. It was during Coachella that year that they were first seen together, indicating that they had been dating in early 2015. 
Bella appeared in the music video for the weekend song In the Night, which was released in December of that year. Their initial breakup occurred in November 2016 as a result of their clashing work schedules. A month after their breakup, Bella walked the runway at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, where The Weeknd was also on the bill. His second year performing, and I think he's going to absolutely kill it, Hadid said in an interview. There is no awkwardness. He is my closest buddy, and I am looking forward to his performance since I will be walking throughout it. The Weeknd started seeing Selena Gomez in January 2017, and the couple ended their relationship in September of that year. Their relationship was reignited in May 2018, but they were forced to call it quits again in August of the same year. In 2017, The Weeknd had a relationship with Selena Gomez. The Weeknd started dating former Disney actress Selena Gomez in January 2017, only two months after his first breakup with Bella Hadid. The couple was seen getting close at Coachella in April and they made their red carpet debut at the Met Gala the following month. They moved in together in September in New York's Greenwich Village, but they broke up a month later after a disagreement. The weekend's 2018 EP, My Dear Melancholy, is said to have included several allusions to his relationship with Gomez, according to some sources. Rosalia Villatovea, often known as Rosalia, is a Spanish Catalan singer and songwriter. Rosalia graduated Catalonia College of Music with honors for her collaborative cover record with Raúl Refri, Los Angeles, and the baccalaureate project El Mal Querer, Sony 2018, which was co-produced on a low budget by El Guincho and contained modern interpretations of flamenco mixed with pop and urban. The record, which received the Latin Grammy Award for Album of the Year and was named one of Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time was released to great acclaim and launched Rosalia's worldwide career. The Weeknd and Rosalia became acquainted when they worked together on his remix of Blinding Lights. In late 2020, The Weeknd was romantically connected to Spanish singer-songwriter Rosalia, who appeared on the remix of his smash track Blinding Lights. The two began dating shortly after the release of the remix. Rumors of a relationship started to circulate when the duo appeared up close and personal in promotional photos for the song, as well as in the artwork for the single. Both parties, however, have declined to comment on the reports, leading many to believe that the two are just friends and partners. Chantal Talene Jeffries is a DJ, model, and YouTube celebrity from the United States. On May 2, 2018, she released her first song, Wait, through Universal Music Group's record label 10.22pm. On the Billboard Hot Dance Electronic Songs list, the single peaked at number 10. In 2018, it was rumored that The Weeknd was casually dating Chantel Jeffries. He was pictured with his arm around model and DJ Chantel Jeffries at Coachella in 2018, only a few months before he announced his relationship with Bella Hadid was over. While it is unknown whether or not Jeffries and The Weeknd were romantically involved, they do have one thing in common. They are both fans of Justin Bieber. Jeffries had a relationship with Bieber back in 2014, and The Weeknd had a relationship with Bieber's ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez in 2017. Shortly after his breakup with Selena Gomez, The Weeknd was pictured dating Giovanna Ventura in 2017. Following his breakup with Selena Gomez, The Weeknd was allegedly seen holding hands with model Yovana Ventura in November 2017. At the time, a source informed Us Weekly that The Weeknd was there hand-in-hand -hand with Yovana Ventura the whole night. They all came at the same time. They were walking with their hands in each other's. He was there for a good two hours with her, and they walked about with their hands in each other's. It's not known how serious things became between the two of them. In a strange twist of fate, Justin Bieber was also said to have dated Ventura at one point in his life. So there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then. Peace.